Hi everyone, I'm Shona Scott for HSI Professional and today I'm going to show you how to get these beautiful waves perfect for summer. This is the Glider Elite Professional Flat Iron and it has ionic ceramic tourmaline coated plates. When you plug the flat iron in, you're going to see it starts to flash with the word off and then you press and hold the on button until the light stops flashing. On the LCD screen you will see the temperature. This can easily be adjusted using the plus and minus buttons and this ranges from 140 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's reached the desired temperature it will turn green. I've washed and dried my hair using the HSI Professional shampoo and conditioner that contains argan oil and is sulfate free. Both of these formulas contain vitamins A, B, C and D and with the argan oil in it they smell absolutely amazing. I then went in with HSI argan oil leave-in treatment and I'm now going to spray on some HSI thermal protector. Again this is infused with argan oil so it smells absolutely beautiful and it really does leave your hair feeling soft and silky. Now I'm going to go through my hair to make sure I've got no tangles using the Easy Flow Vented Hairbrush. This brush is great if you've got long hair like mine because it doesn't hurt when removing the tangles. So to start this look I'm going to separate my hair from my ears backwards and I'm going to take that top section and pin it up out of the way. Working with a wide section on one side of my head I'm going to use my finger to weave through the hair and create two individual sections like so and taking that top section I'm going to pin that out of the way. Taking the flat iron I'm going to place it at the very root of the hair and I'm going to rotate the iron away from my head. Then I'm turning it back and rotating it the opposite way while dragging the iron down and then repeating this process all the way down the length of the hair. You'll see that the ceramic plates are beveled at the corners so you have no problem with gliding this backwards and forwards and creating a really beautiful wave in the hair. Once you've done one section you want to take down the top section and we're going to do the same process again starting at the top of the root and rotating away from your head. The reason we rotate away from our head and not towards our head at the root is because we're trying to create more lift there and the purpose of this hairstyle is to create voluminous beachy waves. Now the purpose of weaving the hair is to aid the volume that we're trying to create so when the hair lays flat again there's a slightly different pattern to them they're not going to be one big wave they're going to be individual waves. Now remember as you rotate your flat iron you want to pull the hair through then rotate the other way and again pull the hair through. If you're not particularly competent with using flat irons it would be a good idea to use the heat protective glove this will prevent you from accidentally touching the side of the ceramic plates. I'm now taking another section down from the hair that's been tied up. Again, I'm going to use my finger to weave through the hair to separate two individual sections. And I'm going to repeat the process. I like to do this in four or five sections around my entire head. And from each layer that comes down, I separate that into three sections. So that's one on either side of my head and one at the back. Now we're getting through the bulk of our hair, you'll see it starts to look really voluminous. Now I've only got the top section to do, I'm going to separate this into a middle parting. Then I'm going to weave both sections, which means I'll have four individual sections to wave. Now we're at the top, you'll be able to see the weave a lot clearer. This part's optional, I like to leave my fringe out till last so I can see how wavy I want it to be. You should now be able to see the benefit of weaving the hair before we use the flat iron. You can see as I get to the end and I let the hair go, there are individual wavy sections. Another benefit to creating waves with a flat iron means you're smoothing out the cuticles and the flyaways, which is creating a super silky finish to your hair. For my fringe, I like to do it individually, as I said, just so I can determine how wavy I want it. Once I've finished, I like to shake my hair out. And then just to give it some added shine, I like to go back in with a little bit more of my leave-in argan oil. I find this is a great tip if your hair is prone to frizzing due to humidity or a change in the weather. This helps to keep the hair nice and tame. And that completes my beachy waves for the summer season. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe below so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.